So today, we're going to be taking the Cincinnati Bengals right here with all the new players, including their running back, who was drafted in the fifth round, Chase Brown. Also, the receiver, Charlie Jones. And, of course, their first round pick, Miles Murphy. Second round pick, DJ Turner. Third round pick, Jordan Battle. We're going to be taking these guys and advancing. 10 years. Let's see how good the Bengals can be with all their rookies. All right, guys, let's go ahead and stop right here. We're going to continue in a second, but this is when, you know, usually players' contracts start falling off because this is five years in the franchise. So I want to see who is still currently on the Bengals and how good they actually are. So quarterback is still Joe Burrow, not surprising there. Jake Browning. Wow. Okay, he is still going. All right, running backs are three completely new players. That's not surprising. Wide receivers, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. We got a new guy named Clory Thomas. We have Charlie Jones, who is 32 years old at this point. Okay. Um, and we have And Andre is still on the roster. Has he done anything in his career? Okay, he's been kind of just a rotational guy. Nothing special there. That's not surprising. Irv Smith is still here. Okay. Irv Smith is still on the roster. And let's see how he did with the Bengals since he joined the Cincinnati Bengals. So 577, six, 577 yards, 6 touchdowns. 11, 11, 16? Bro, Irv Smith just said, hold my beer on his career with the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow made his career, bro. Joe Burrow made his career. Okay, Elena Brown is still here. Volson is still here, but he's 66 overall. He's a backup. Um, who else? Collins. Kind of surprised Collins is still here. Not going to lie to you guys. Miles Murphy. Let's see how the star is looking. So, let's go ahead and look at his stats real fast. Um, okay, so his rookie year... He had 13 and a half sacks his rookie year. <laughs> Murphy was not playing around, guys. He starts off the gap as a monster. 10 and a half sacks, 11 sacks, 11 sacks, 10 and a half, 16 sacks. Okay. I, I see you, Miles. I see you. Sam Hubbard's still here. Hey, look at, look at that. Trey Hendrickson's still here. Okay, so Bengals keeping some of these guys. Interesting. Hakeem Davis Gathers is still here. Uh, Jermaine Pratt is still here, but Jermaine Pratt has lost everything Jermaine Pratt once had. I don't know why he's a 52. I don't know how he has digressed so much. He's a 52 overall. Logan Wilson. DJ Turner is still here. Okay, this is not surprising. I mean, it was a second round pick. Let's see what he has done in his career so far. Seven, rookie season, three interceptions. Second season, seven interceptions. Well, that is definitely surprising. Third, uh, fourth season, it looks like he might have gotten hurt this season. No, maybe not. He, uh, maybe he hurt a little bit. His tackles are down. Then two, three, and two. He might be one of the best second round picks of all time then. And he's still in the roster. We still got Cheeto, Kim, Taylor, Britt. Okay, so still guys there. Dax Hill, how have you done in your, you know, starting role for the Bengals? Oh, wow. 2026 seems like it's going to be a good year for Dax Hill. Six interceptions. All right, Dax, uh, calm down a little bit. Jordan Battle. Ooh, what has Jordan Battle done? Okay. Actually, wait, no, let me, what am I doing? Let me go by year. All right. His last year in this franchise, six interceptions. Did the Bengals have, like, the best secondary in, like, the whole entire world? Six interceptions with multiple players. Okay, so he did pretty much nothing for the first three, four seasons. No, three seasons. Oh, well, four seasons. And then he had an interception, and last year he just took off. So, 128 was his year to take the F off, which is actually really funny. All right, let's see what they have done overall-wise. So, that's actually not that bad. So, we keep our first round, second round, third round, 
fourth is still on the roster. All four rounds are still on the roster. Let me see real fast, actually, where Chase Brown is at and if he has done anything. I highly doubt he's still in the game. He'll probably be retired. Um, no, he, Chauncey Brown. Yeah, he's probably retired. Yeah, I'm gonna guess he was tired. He might be a free agent, but I highly doubt it. I can't check free agency right now anyway, but I highly doubt. Actually, I can. Let's just skip for one week. Let's just see where um where he's at. I I highly doubt he's still in the league. He he was a fifth string guy. I don't know. Maybe maybe he is. Um. Yeah, I I think if overall wise, Zach Evans is still in the league. I guess he might be. I mean, it's possible. I don't, I don't see his name. <laughs> I'm not seeing his name, so... Travis Etienne is still in the league. I mean, this is five years in the future. Yeah, I, I didn't see his name. So, I, I'm not surprised if he's not in the game anymore. Um, he was, like a, I think, like a 65, 70 going... Oh, 67 overall going into... You know, all this madness. So, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't pan out to be anything good or special. But, it is what it is on that aspect. But, let's go ahead and take a look at... Yeah, can't look at it. Okay. Let's look at the league history. One second. Let's look at the league history and see what's going on. So, back in 2022, right? That's this year. 2023, it looks like the Bengals... Miles Murphy wins Defensive Player of the Year. Let me show you guys this. Miles Murphy wins Defensive Player of the Year. Okay, that's not bad for a first round pick, you ask me. Um, let's look at 2024. Okay, Joe Burrow wins Offensive Player of the Year. MVP and Zach Taylor wins Coach of the Year. Wow. Burrow for MVP in 2024. All right. Joe Burrow wins back-to-back -back MVPs. Zach Taylor wins back-to-back -back coaches of the year in 2024 uh, four and five. And Joe Burrow wins offensive player of the year again. Burrow wins three MVPs. Three coaches of the year for Zach Taylor and three offensive player of the year for freaking Burrow. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. That is so painful. That is no, that is so freaking painful. You gotta be kidding me. To lose to the 49ers for the third time in a Super Bowl. When you are by three points. And then, and nothing special this year. You cannot make that up. You cannot make up that storyline. That is painful. All right. Guys, I'm going to sim three years from now to see where Cincinnati's at. One second. All right. So now we are in 2033. Exactly 10 years. In the future. Who's on the roster? Who's not on the roster? Alright, this is going to get interesting. Now, Madden is kind of weird with this. Where they'll let certain players go for no reason. But it looks like we got some players on the roster. Joe Burrow is still on the roster. This man has not given up yet. Oh my gosh. Is he still playing for the Bengals? Alright, so... Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's been pretty much his same old, you know, Joe Shiesty self, man. Who's the running backs? Sheldon Marcus. Okay. Bo Leonard. Receivers. Jamar Chase. Okay. Pierre Person. Ted Cleveland. Tyler Randall. Juju Smith Schuster. 35 year old Schuster. 
Oh, uh, Irv Smith did, I guess he, he probably did retire in all honesty. Um, JJ Burr, can you imagine if that was a left tackle for the Bengals with Joe Burr? Um, okay, so all these guys are made up at this point. Except for Miles Murphy, who is still a member of the Cincinnati Bengals 10 years in the future. So 2033 does not count. Last time we looked at it was, what, 2028? So he followed up his 2028 season with 15 sacks, then 7, then 7.5, seven then 14, and obviously this is preseason so far. So not bad. He's had one of the best careers out there. Definitely, maybe not a Hall of Famer, but definitely up there, like, for absolute stud pick of the whole entire draft. Like, when you go back and look at it now, in the future, and you look at that draft based on these stats, they got an absolute freaking stud. Okay, so it looks like all the normal players are going. Ah, oh, DJ Turner, Cheeto is going. I wonder if DJ Turner is still in the league. Okay, I want to see real fast if DJ Turner is still in the league or if he did actually retire. It's very possible he retired. Um, let me see. AJ Terrell is a bangle. It looks like Turner retired. That's unfortunate, actually. That's really unfortunate. Did Battle retire? Yeah, it looks like Battle. What? No, Jordan. Wait, no, 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 no. We don't have Jordan Battle, do we? Hold up. 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 My brain right now is going to flaccid flakes. We do. So he actually. He, so he just joined. He just left the Bengals this last year. So he actually played for the Bengals his whole entire career except for this last year. Um, he had three interceptions, three interceptions, four interceptions, three, six. Since 2028. He had 3-4-3-3, three, 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 and obviously now he left us uh, to go to the Bucks. This was one of the best third-round draft picks out there. How is DJ Turner... I'm so confused how he re how he's retired now. Because Jordan Battle is not retired. How is DJ Turner retired? Retired. 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 Oh my gosh. How is he retired? Like, he's only... What is he like? He's only like 31, 32 years old. Actually, how old is how old is Battle? Battle is 32. Yeah, so you only should be 32 years old. I mean, it's not out of the round of possibility that someone retires at that age, but still though, you'd think he would still be around till this time. Eh, it's it is whatever. Um, let's see where it is cause he was digressing degressing very quickly. Um yeah, no, it looks like Charlie Jones is also retired, so he's also gonna say goodbye to uh, the team. Let me see if I can, can I see, um, let me see if I can see retired players, maybe. Take a look at that. And then we're gonna look at a fun thing, guys. Hang on one second. Retired. Um, Cincinnati Bengals. No, it's not gonna tell us. Okay. So, now it's the fun time, guys. League history. Oh, do not do this to me. All right, so 2028 was where we left off, right? No, 2027, this is what happened. 2028, this happened. 2029, okay, the Bengals didn't really do much of anything. 2030, Burrow wins MVP and Offensive Player of the Year again. That is four MVPs, three consecutive back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back MVP awards. 20, 30, 1, nothing, and then 20, 32, nothing. No Super Bowls in those 10 years. That is That would be absolutely crazy. To see Burrow win three back-to-back -back consecutive MVP awards, that is literally the first quarterback in human history to ever do that. Then win four in his career. To not win an MVP, not win a Super Bowl? That would be insane. I mean, he made one. He made one in 27, but he just didn't win it. If he would have won, if he would have won this Super Bowl, guys, plus four MVP awards, 
I mean, he's up there for greatest of all time then. Even with one Super Bowl. Okay, I know the argument is he only won one then, but he's up there. If he's only won, even with only winning one. But overall wise, I gotta say, pretty W. Pretty W overall wise. I think the Bengals will make a couple Super Bowls, at least three or four in this 10 year period. And I think they'll at least win two or three. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.